we are about, I don't know, time anymore, maybe an hour away from heading downtown to rain to do our first ever fashion show for packaged menswear. The anxiety is hella high because we train and we're gonna be the only two train doing it. So yeah, fun times. My boo is doing Sam's makeup right now because he wants to serve his envy realness. And I'm just gonna cover my whole fucking body in BB cream because I'm red as fuck. Who's Tina? <laughs> Tina, the fucking tummy. Tina! <laughs> so yeah, if you don't know what package is, it's a local store here in Austin where Sam and I, we get all of our underwear um, from because they have a lot of packer-friendly underwear. But they also have some fetish, wear, sex, just it's like an adult store. So there's like five goths that you could be a part of. There is underwear, swimwear, jocks, streetwear, and then fetish. Sam is doing all fucking five, so yeah. I am only doing two because I'm small and I can hardly fit in what they have. I'm gonna be swimwear and underwear. And I will be wearing a crop top, which when I tried it on, this is the first crop top I've ever worn in my life and I was living for it and I am so stoked to be able to like be wearing that in my undies walking on the runway. Shall we begin? Jace, my boo. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Boop. Oh my god. Boop. 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 Are you recording? <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Just want to make my butt look good, Rico. What's wrong with that? What are you recording, Jace? You. Sorry, copyright. <laughs> So for some reason, I don't know, something about uh, lactic acid and having like bigger muscles showing, every half hour Sam is making us both do 20 push-ups so we can do 100 total throughout the day. Uh, yeah, that's how my night's going. Last one, just do as many as you can do, okay? Can do Last 20. one, as many as you can do. If you want to do more, then do more. Okay. <laughs> it's the last, this is the final pump, Rico. Okay, hurry. Final pump. All right. And begin. I like how Sam's doing twice as many as Rico. <gasps> 11, 12. You took too much tea today, Sam. <laughs> 15, 16. How you doing, babe? Good, just hit 20. Oh, and don't wow. sweat all your makeup off. Right? Yeah. Shit. All right, show up. Okay, okay. <sighs> Oh! <laughs> 
but don't worry about how bad we are. Don't no. worry about how bad we're going to get. Well, I'm kind of. But well, let's worry about this fashion show right now. Look at these boys. These sexy, sexy men. So that that was about it, y'all. Um, <clears throat> I'm posting this a week after we walked, and I'm, you know, in the middle of editing and just like reliving that. Well, I mean, when I walked, like I literally blacked out because I was so anxious. Like I don't remember walking, you know what I mean? And then looking at the footage, it's like so much cringe. Like we're obviously not runway models. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing. We're just like YouTubers, trans advocates, but super grateful to be um to have this opportunity and for package to ask us to be a part of this um fashion show and i hope to do it again i look forward to it if we can i'm sure we can i don't know but uh yeah i mean i was super anxious and nervous for certain parts but really it was so chaotic that like it was just go 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 and don't think and just do and within all the chaos and everything like i'm i don't regret it i'm super stoked that we were able to be there to represent for the queer trans men in the Austin scene. I was really excited when Package asked us to do their fashion show and to like model in it for them. Um, mainly because like every time I've ever seen like a fashion show, give or take a couple, um, mainly the bodies that I see are, you know, like tall and slender or like super muscular, like cis bodies, you know, on the, the runway, which is like great. Like let's celebrate all bodies, obviously, but let's celebrate all bodies. And so I really just, was really stoked that they, you know, wanted to have trans representation in their show. Um, and obviously, like, going into it, I was super intimidated. Even the night of, I was super intimidated, you know, just because knowing and seeing the, how the show has gone before, I knew that, you know, I was going to be changing in front of, you know, 30 plus cis, like, cis, for the most part, um, men. Um, and, you know, that's obviously something that I've never done before. You know, I've never changed or gotten undressed in front of so many, you know, uh, cisgendered or AMAB body people. And so, yeah, obviously that was like super intimidating, but, um, going into it, like, I realized that that night was like, as Rico said, like, now it's so chaotic that like, 
literally nobody gave a fuck like nobody like nobody was looking at you nobody really was like paying attention to what was in your pants or the fact that i had my packer in my hand half the night while i was trying to switch in between looks i just got this like little flaccid penis hanging out in my hand and you know i'm butt ass naked um you know like nobody cared and that was awesome like everybody there was super supportive you know obviously you know i was wearing a binder i wasn't really wearing a shirt for most of the show and so you know everybody knew that i was trans and you know everybody was just being really polite and introducing themselves to me and you know just like talking about the show we were all just having a great time and so overall i had a really good experience i will say just like rico i did black out for most of that most mainly because i was like super intimidated same thing happened when i was like in drag um i would always like black owl right before I like performed um, and I wouldn't remember what I did for my performances the only thing that I know is I didn't smile like once during this fa whole fashion show and I kind of regret that like I don't think you're like supposed to smile but I think that I like was just like giving like resting bitch face the whole time and that's that's unfortunate um but yeah overall super stoked to be a part of the show it's also super stoked because you know I knew going into the show that I didn't want to be seen as cis and I didn't want to be seen as strictly male. As a trans bass non-binary person, I wanted to kind of reflect both sides of me. So even though the, you know, the outfits that I were modeling were very, you know, masculine and or, you know, typically made for like mass cis gay men, um, I wanted to be able to like reflect the fact that I wasn't binary, um, in the sense that like I also uh, wore like a full face of makeup and that was interesting for me too because I don't wear makeup often I do I love wearing makeup but I, I don't wear it often and I don't go out in public often in it um and so it was it was interesting like you know a lot of people seeing you know a trans person one come out in this underwear and two also like despite wearing men's clothing and being trans mask also wearing a full face of makeup and just trying to encompass all of that at least I tried um, I think for the next time, I'll probably wear a little bit net less makeup, though, because I showed up and, like, everybody was just, like, not wearing makeup, and, like, I liked that it was different, but maybe next time I'll just do a little bit more of, like, a boy beat, not, not so, not so much, and I hope the next time there are a lot more trans people that do this show, you know, I want to see all types of bodies, but yeah, overall, I had a great time. So let me know what y'all thought of all the looks and everything, and, like, if you were given the opportunity, would you walk in a fashion show? Being the trans representation, would you do it? If so, why or why not? And if you like this video, you know what to do. Please like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. We'll see you next time, y'all.